Hey guys, my name is May and welcome to my channel. If you guys have been watching our channel for very long, you know that we are actually remodeling a, an old farmhouse that's over 100 years old. And we've gotten the bathroom done. I have a bathroom tour video on my channel and we've been working on the kitchen. But then we decided to move to our two upstairs bedrooms so that our one-year-old daughter could come sleep up here and we could get our bedroom back before this next baby's born because right now we are currently sleeping in our living room and it's not ideal for long term and after the baby's born, obviously. So my husband has been working on these upstairs bedrooms. One is like almost completely done except for just some trim around the window and the door and the other room doesn't have like hardly anything done to it. So I wanted to start this before he finished this room but I kind of got sidetracked. So I'll show you guys what this room looks like where we're at here and then hopefully take you through a little bit more of the process with the next room. Anyway, let's take a look at this room because it's pretty awesome. So you come up the stairway, which is weird and <laughs> a little scary to walk up, but then you come and this is the new bedroom. The floors used to be this weird orange color. My husband actually laid down plywood on the floor and you can actually not tell that it's plywood, it looks really nice. It's just dirty right now. But, and all the walls are shiplapped. This is actually the original shiplap that was in this old farmhouse, which is amazing that we were able to just restore it. So this doorway used to be a lot narrower and a lot shorter, so he made the doorway a more normal size. And he still has to trim around it and he's going to build a custom wood door that'll look really cool. Right here there was like this weird 2x4 that was like sticking out and so he, he had to patch this all up but it looks really nice. I like how that turned out. And then over here there's this little cubby, this little storage cubby. And this is access to our attic. And so once he's done with all the electrical and everything, because oh, that attic right there is above our kitchen, once he knows he won't need access to that anymore, he'll board that up and finish painting it. And then you come over this way and there's a window that still needs to be trimmed out, but he'll probably do trim after the next bedroom's done. He'll do trim on the other window in the bedroom and on both the doors all at once. So this is a new window. The one that was here used to come all the way down to almost to the floor. It was really tall and weird and like half of it was a newer window and half of it was like an older single pane window. It wasn't even one long window, it was just two windows sitting on top of each other, which is really weird. So I like this better because then you can set your bed up against the window and you know, people can't like see you laying in your bed. So then you come over here and he's added all these really cool storage shelves because there's like hardly any storage in these bedrooms up here. So these are also plywood but he put some nice trim along the edges so that it looks really nice and professional. And then all this is stuff, all this stuff is just painted a nice bright white, just like the ceilings and the walls so that it just makes this whole room bigger since it's so small anyway. And he, we've got all new electrical outlets. Before there was like one electrical outlet in here, it's something ridiculous. So there's like properly spaced electrical outlets now. So that's really exciting. So then you come over here to the closet and there will be a rod along there and there'll be another little shelf up there, just like a one foot deep shelf up there. And there's a nice little storage nook over there. And so there's just a lot more storage in here than there was before. This closet, so there's these two bedrooms, one's on the other side of this wall. And this closet used to be just for this bedroom. And so it was twice as deep. And so he actually brought this wall in so that each bedroom would have a closet. And so now it can be considered a three bedroom house. So there's just a little bit smaller, but it's still plenty of room to hang your clothes. There just won't be a door on it, which is fine. But now each of these little bedrooms has a nice little closet. And then over here, just right there, is a little heater because it gets pretty cold up here. And we only have one gas fireplace downstairs. And so it doesn't always heat up here very well. So we have one heater in this bedroom and there'll be another heater in the other bedroom and they're thermostatically controlled so that we can help it be hot enough up here. And then he just put this light fixture on the ceiling here. It's nice and flat so that no one hits their head since these ceilings are pretty low anyway. The edge is just an oil rubbed bronze so it still has a nice farmhouse look to it. And these ones are from Home Depot and they actually, 
They're LED lights that adjust from 3K to 4K to 5K, depending on the brightness you need for the size of the room that you have in them, so that's pretty cool. So here's the unfinished room, and he's actually started work on here, which is why there's all these tools out. But this is what the floor used to look like in the other room. Just big boards, and there's big cracks, and places that are like patched with metal pieces. It's very strange. So this room is a little bit bigger because it doesn't have the stairwell right here like the other room does. The work that he's done on it so far is that today he's added all these um, electrical outlets. He had to pull the bottom board off all the way around, add all the electrical, and then put the board back on. So there's a proper amount of electrical outlets now instead of just one in the entire room. He's got this wall heater in and a place for the light switch. And then I think he just did this today too, these boards patched in. And a place for the light in the ceiling. This window is also new, just like the one in the other bedroom. It used to go all the way down. So I'll have to patch that in to match with the rest of the shiplap. And then here's the new closet, and you can see the line there where this used to come all the way up to where that line was, and there was no closet in this room. So, as I said, when I was showing you the other room, we just pushed this wall to halfway between. So, both rooms have a little closet. It's smaller, but it's plenty big. So yeah, that's just a quick little tour of what this room looks like now, so you can kind of see where we're coming from, and then I'll show you again when it's all done. Hey guys, it's about two weeks later, and Luke has finished the second room. It's so exciting, and it looks so good. So, I'll just show you guys what's changed. So you come in through the door here, which is taller now. And the floor is all nice and planked and painted that same olive green color. There's proper electrical outlets. There's one behind this dresser here. The window still needs to be trimmed out. There's still a few finishing touches that still need to be done, but I figured I'd show you guys now and it might take us a little while to completely finish it. And then there's these shelves, the same as are in the other room. And you can kind of tell if you look at them, how uneven our floor is, it's insane. Like this corner goes way up and I'm just like, Luke said there was like a three inch difference from, from there to there, which is a lot. But he made the shelves level so things don't roll off of them. But then it looks a little weird compared to the floor, but that's all fine. And then here's the little closet area that just needs a coat rod. And he actually forgot to do the couple little boards across the top there, but those can get added later. And there's a nice heater there. And then we have the same LED light on the ceiling. And we have it set to the 4K, because that looks the best in this size of room, we think. So, and then he also finished this little hallway out here. So I'll bring it here. And don't mind the bed frame being stored here. But up here, there's another one of these lights. And there's another one at the bottom of the stairs. And they both connect to three-way switch. That's really handy. And then on this wall right here, there's gonna be a bunch of shelves that come out about a foot and there'll be a nice bunch of storage. And then we have our canning shelf here and the green just continues up to the edge of the stairs. So that hole will get closed in later and we'll finish lower down the stairs later too. So it's not completely done, but it's looking so, so good. And I think we're gonna move our daughter up here. We need a little bit more space downstairs. So it's done enough that we can move her up here. So that's what some of these things are in this room. I will do a completed nursery tour for her bedroom when it's all done. But we're, I'm just so excited about how it's turned out up here. I think it looks so cute and rustic and like an old farmhouse upstairs. So hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!